So let's see what do we have to do first. So I can see that there is a background as well as the font that I use is called Railway. So going to Hero Patterns, this is the website that I've been using for all my patterns. It is very good, you should give it a try. It is so easy to use, all you have to do is just to choose one pattern that you like, click on it, customize it any way you want by just changing the color and change the opacity. And once you're done, just simply copy the CSS. So I've already prepared beforehand the CSS code for my website. So we are just going to use this. So coming back to the website, refresh. And we are going to see the background. So next thing we need to do is to add in the font real way. So go to Google font, search for real way. Click on it, add it in, come into here, customize it. And let's only load the font that we wanted. So what we want is a regular 400, semi bold 600 and extra bold 800. So come into embed, copy the entire CSS code, come into index.php and paste it in just like what I have here. And after that, we have to use the following CSS rules to activate the font. So I already have it here. I will just enable it. So coming back to our website, refresh. Yeah, and there we have it. So now we can finally start to design the page here. So the first thing I see is this is definitely going to be in the container and the content is going to be quite centralized. So what I did with my coding is that we have a container and a row. And this row will be an eight column. So just set eight. And I am going to do an offset of two. Okay, but before that, let me just show you what happens if I don't. Uh, I'm just going to write my movie content. Oops. My movie content. Coming back, refresh. Yep. You can see that the content is all the way here, but we want it to be in the center. So all you have to do is just to add in a offset of two, saving it, refresh, and now you'll see that it will be pushed by two column, exactly the width. So for the container, I find that it's a bit close to the header. So I would like to just do a quick styling of heading top 30 pixel. Okay, that looks about good now. So let's proceed. Now for the movie content, let me just create some spacing here. So the first thing we want is to give the movie card a container. So probably movie dot card and like this. So throughout this entire website, I'll be using the BEM naming convention. If you have no idea what is it, we will probably be teaching in the future or you can look it up online. But basically what it does is that it allows me to name my CSS this way, dot movie, the block element, and after that it will be a normal element, like example and information. And if I want to have a modifier, I can just use this way, perhaps uh, black. Yep. Okay, so don't worry, you will see that I'll be using it a lot. So hopefully it can help you to understand how it works. So from, so from here, after movie content, I'll be having an image. If so, yep. So let's just create an image. Movie image. And within the movie image, I'll create another container. And I'm just going to call it content. So coming to my movie.js, this is where I actually save my list of movie, which I'll be using it in Vue.js later on. But for now, I'm just going to copy the contents and paste it in. So what I need is actually the image source. 
So I'm just going to add image with a uh, image responsive. Whoa. Okay. Add my URL in, and I would like to have a alternate source, which is the name of the movie. And that should be it. So let's take a look. Refresh. Yep. Okay, right now the image is a bit big, but don't worry, as we style it later. Or maybe why don't we do it now? So come into our CSS. Let's style our image content to about a width of 300 pixel. And for my image, I'll be adding a border to the image. So movie image content image border radius 5 pixel, which is at the top left corner. And at the top right corner, it will be 0, 0 and 5 pixel so it will be the top left the top right bottom right bottom left right so let's take a look refresh okay yep and we have almost the same image size now so the next thing we need to do is to add in the movie information that is located over here so how do we do that so what we can do is after the movie image, let's add in a movie info. And within the movie info, once again, I'm going to have another wrapper for my content. Now you can actually forego the content if you don't need to use padding within your first level DIV. But what I do is that I like to create Two layer so I can actually style my buttons to be a full button or my content to be a full full width but at the same time have the freedom of creating a padding so let's proceed so from here content it is basically going to be um, a header a running time some synopsis over here and this is going to be within one container and then we have another container just for the button so this way we can actually add padding for this content but with this content it can be full width so if that's not clear don't worry as we do you will be able to see the difference so let's see so movie info content so the first thing we want to do is to add in a movie header movie header h4 and i am going to use an uppercase and we're going to add in the name so the name will be once again this triple x and then we will have a paragraph with a small class and once again text upper case just a bit running time and span with a movie running time for now i'm just going to hard code 107 minutes and we will change it during our vue.js tutorial and that should be it so now that we have our movie content Nope, our movie header until here. The next thing we want is to style the top first. So let's see what we have now. Refreshing it. Ah, we can see that the content is actually at the top and bottom. But what we want is at the top left and right. So perhaps the first thing we can do is to actually give our movie a very simple flex the movie 
and let's just flex it so let's see what that does yep and that's all it takes